Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video, helping you with your IB math every step of the way. So I'm going to go through my predictions for the November the 1st reset for the AISL IB math course. As you can see, it's very similar to the predictions that I did for the June exams. So please do check that out, the May June exams, just up there. Uh, but I just want to go through a few points that have changed things somewhat, because now we have three past papers to look at. We have the two past papers from the June 2021 exams, as well as the specimen paper as well. And these topics I've highlighted in red out of my most likely topics are the ones you should focus on. So hypothesis testing is always a big, big, big topic with this course. In particular, you need to know how to work out a p-value. So if you don't know how to do that, then do check out my other videos where I go through these kind of questions and be able to consider H0 and H1 and whether to reject or accept H1. Uh, finance solver question, these, these are quite typical, particularly on a paper two. So there will be a sort of extended question where one person invests at a particular rate, another person invests at a particular rate, you need to find when they have the same amount of money, at what time, that kind of question as well. So it lends itself to the paper two, as does my part four here, optimization. Now this has come up on all three papers so far. So this is a three out of three, the specimen paper and the two papers in May, June. And this is where you have to work out the surface area or the volume of a shape often, and then you need to differentiate that and then find the maximum point, minimum point, and so on. So make sure you can cover that. That is also towards the more difficult end of the paper. So if you're aiming for those six and seven grades, then that's what you should be focusing on. Sine cosine rule question. This is very, very common as well. And it can come in different kind of styles, or it can come as part of a sub question as well. But you need to know the rules and be able to use the formula sheet and also apply that to unfamiliar situations. So on one of the May June papers, there's a question with a clock where you actually had to make up your own triangle by using the hands of the clock. So make sure you can apply the sine cosine rule to lots of different situations. And my last one here is the normal distribution. This seems to be very, very popular as well, coming from the old uh, IB standard level course. So making sure you can use norm CDF, norm PDF, inverse norm functions, and apply that in different contexts, often probability there as well. Two things that I've added here at the bottom. So I've noticed there have been some functions in context questions. So what I mean by that is they will give you some kind of function, and you need to work out an inverse, possibly even a composite function as well. But sometimes they want you to find the inverse using the graph only. And that's an easy skill to master, but it seems to be quite popular so far from what we've seen of the three papers so far. So if you're not sure how to do that, again, plenty of YouTube videos out there to check out. And my last point is coming from the Math Studies course, is the volume and surface area of 3D shapes. This could be combined with 3D coordinates, so working the X, Y, and Z axis, and making sure that you know where the formulae are on the formula sheet, and be able to apply that, again, in a practical Content. And if you want to practice any of the topics that you've actually seen in my prediction video, then just click the link just up here and you can actually go to my playlist where I actually go through a lot of past paper questions using Revision Village as my basis. All right, bye for now.